reviews, discussions, and theories about films and horror, sci-fi, and genre. This is The Horror Deconstruction. Like, share, and subscribe to hear more. What's up, everybody? It's The Horror Deconstruction. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, most likely on YouTube. Give us a like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon and hit that thumbs up. These are the 31 days of October for Halloween with your host, Comp. Today's film is... Plus one. A mysterious phenomenon disrupts the night, quickly descending into a chaos that challenges their friendships and whether they can stay alive. Directed by Dennis Lilaris. Written by Dennis Lilaris. Story by Bill Gulo, starring Rice Wakefield, Logan Miller, and Ashley Hinshaw. So why did I pick this film? Well, I actually saw this film a while ago, and I remember actually being turned on by the trailer. It looked very interesting. It's, it's very much a... A science fiction slash psychological horror film but then it also does become a horror film midway through the movie and the trailer does a good job in selling that and it does a good job in not completely spoiling what the movie is about so I don't want to do complete spoilers for this film but I will say that if you want to have a great companion to the film coherence the uh, science fiction film that I don't know if I don't know if I want to spill that uh, spoil that one but coherence is a really really good um, uh, horror like science fiction film I can't really say that it's horror it, it is in a way it's more psychological horror as well from 2013 that it deals with t not not necessarily time travel but uh, dimensions and not dimensions like you're going to another planet but dimensions and and time skips and doppelgangers and stuff like that very good film it's actually really um highly rated when people watch it they realize how good it is and it it's uh it's available on pluto tv i would s suggest watching that but i want to talk about plus one because plus one is a film that seems to have disappeared from many of the conversations of these kind of uh, genre science fiction films when it really is a, a good companion it's it's not as complex and incredibly deep as coherence is and, and the characters aren't as singular you know they're in here they're a little bit more tropey they're a little bit more stock kind of characters but it still is a pretty entertaining film and it does a good job with morality as in what would you do to preserve your life and preserve the life that you know in this kind of bizarre situation? So just to start it out, there, the film begins with a couple of college kids uh, getting ready for a big big house party to the sky and his best friend. What happened is the, the main character, and it's interesting because they do not make characters instantly likable. I don't think any of the characters are likable, but you don't really hate them. There's maybe one or two nice characters in the film. But one of the main focuses uh, is this uh, character, uh, this guy played by Rice Wakefield playing David, and he's like, he has a girlfriend, uh, he's, he's, he cheats on his girlfriend by kissing another girl, and already, you know, when you start out a movie like that, with the protagonist kind of doing something shitty, you're waiting for them to redeem themselves. And so that's a, it's pretty generic, sort of standard college movie plot point or romance comedy film subplot. It's not played for laughs, really, although there is some sort of comedic elements with certain characters and how they interact and how they react to the whole situation. And I'm fearing being a little bit too vague with the situation, but I'll get to it. So you're not necessarily liking this main guy if you are a person who's into monogamy or whatever, but he is trying to navigate the night and trying to fix what he has broken with his girlfriend but he's also teased by this uh the notion of this new uh gorgeous girl that he, he really likes and throughout throughout the whole night it's a will he won't he type of situation of character and the movie the movie's big question with morality towards the end is not even that it's something even bigger than that which i think has really devastating and dark consequences and, and what you think about this type of character any of these characters it's interesting because it put it doesn't have an answer to it but it ponders a question to the audience watching it is like is this person a bad guy i personally think some of these characters are are pretty f vile for their choices there's one for sure that is a real piece of human trash for what they do in this movie i really dislike <laughs> the choice that this person does it's it brings me back to this this really cool um, indie film 
called Better Luck Tomorrow with the main character in there who makes a very questionable mo uh he does a questionable act. Not questionable, he does a pretty horrifying act in that film and you're supposed to just follow him as a lead character and, and doesn't give you the is he good or bad sort of sentence towards the end. It's just kind of the movie goes on. So that happens in this film. But Better Luck Tomorrow is a completely different type of film that's about like Asian Americans and dealing with problems and stuff like that. Uh, really good movie. You should watch that. I believe that's Justin Lin's movie. So, you know, they did some of the Fast and the Furious movies. Uh, anyway, back to this. This is a film about a bizarre instance in when a light flashes over the night sky as these people are enjoying this party. So what happens here is a time shift. Now, it's an interesting way that they approach this in that it's not crazy science fiction effects. It's more about real people dealing with these bizarre circumstances that are solely used in science fiction films. And I, what I really liked is that the movie has these c characters confront this unknown problem it's not it's not a problem anybody would deal with in regular unless you listen to creepy pastas you know horror stories and stuff like that this movie deals with doppelgangers and it deals with self and who are you uh are you in the past are you in the present are you in the future what happens is time has shifted in this little area that they're in or wherever this light has passed over time has shifted about five minutes ahead into the future so let's say you're in this situation where you're sort of for a little an indeterminate amount of time let's say you're in one part of a house and you kind of backtrack and you see yourself going through the actions you've just gone through about 10 minutes or so ago where does that leave you is this a invasion of the body snatchers are these people who look just like you are they invaders are they going to take over your life is that really you in the past or is there something else that is not being explained? And there's no explanation for that. I'm just letting you know there's no real explanation for that. It's just sort of the situation that these characters are going through. And I really, really appreciate that the film, although it is sort of sold as this crazy, wacky, not a wacky, but college film, and it, it's taken as seriously as coherences. And it may not be uh, as solid and concrete acting wise is that i mean it's good actors in the film it's not as super dramatic as it but it, it it is certainly a dramatic film and i really like where they went with this movie i really like that the chaos begins to rear its ugly head and mob mob mentality takes over and the fear of the unknown and i really think it's just an incredibly solid movie and i really think it's one of the best films that has become, unfortunately, obscure for the most part. I think that this should be up there. This should be in, in heavy rotation. I think one of the main bad things is that the the title of the film, Plus One, is like bringing somebody along for a party, really destroyed looking for this film. It's hard to look for this film because it's the actual sign of Plus and then the, the number one, or they'll say it by its actual... English word plus one and I believe there's an, an alternate title called Shadow Walkers which is a terrible name that sounds like a, a werewolf vampire movie so I really recommend plus one I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 10 trying to find your girlfriend and you find her twice and you make a decision on that situation and with that this has been the hard deconstruction thank you very much for listening